Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to part two of my Napoleon Total War France Egyptian campaign. So we are going to continue from where we left off. We took Cairo last time, uh, just at the end, and uh, we're pushing against the Mamluks. We've only, only really encountered the Mamluks. We all are also at war with um, the Bedouin as well. So, yeah, and they have two two settlements on the edge. Shock says hello. What's up, Shock? How are you, brother? Oh, yeah. Uh, Bruce is here on my lap. He just climbed on top of me. Uh, Mr. Bruce. Uh, looking forward to getting a webcam again, but right now it's not in the budget. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have no idea what happened to my webcam, but plenty more territory to take. Um, yeah, just give a quick scan of the area. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a fairly a fairly decent sized force there that needs to be dealt with, and we took a fair bit of damage in that last fight. I am really hoping that this is enough force to be able to come down here and clean up the rest of this mess. Um, we've got one general general here. I'm thinking that we might not be a bad idea to um, recruit recruit some more um, artillery so that we could have three armies with artillery actually. Let's, let's reorganize the armies here a little bit. Um, you over to his army. You over to Napoleon's. Um, go like that. Oh, actually, in the uh, the artillery. How did we lose? Uh, how did we lose troops on the artillery units? That's very interesting. Uh, you know, have Napoleon. Command the main force. Um, we've got in Cairo for infrastructure. Ordnance factory. School of poetry and a barracks. So, oh, what can we recruit here? Oh, look at this. We can recruit 8 pound artillery here. Wouldn't be half bad. Uh, we can't recruit them right now, but let's uh, let's repair these buildings. And up here, we're we gonna where are we gonna put these troops? Okay, they're recovering. This cavalry unit, let's get you down here. I believe public order is okay in most of these settlements. Alexandria, it's great. Yeah, let's have you... Ah, shit. Should we send these line infantry down south? We are slowly building another army here. Push east. I'm just wondering if we should send the line infantry south, or if we should send them, send them east. How's the public order here? Yeah, I believe public order is good in all these provinces. For the time being. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We are pretty beat up. Let's send them south. That's where our main offensive is right now. And we'll just pop them in his army. I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll quite catch up to Napoleon's army. Yeah, I want to wrap this up as quickly as possible and then figure out what we're going to do with the Bedouin. Then these three settlements down here, we want to capture those as quickly as possible. So we'll get on the move next turn. I'll we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll leave um, John Baptiste behind and maybe when they're healthy, maybe they can come over here and attack that. 
think is what we'll the way we'll go about it. And he'll defend Cairo. Looks good. Moving on. I hope everyone's having a good day. I was outside earlier, man. It's the weather this time of year is beautiful. It's just um perfect sort of weather. I guess they're gonna fall back by the looks of things. Okay with me. Would have been nice to to wipe that army out. Ah, uh, look at this. Are they going for uh yeah. Yeah. Enemy raid. What kind of shape is this army in? Army's not in bad shape. Could probably get rid of that. Well, we could definitely get rid of that. Hmm. If we move you out of here, that's the public order problem. Um, I'm gonna wait and decide. Would be good to get rid of that that force there. Um, our agent, I think I'm going to send him, send him east, um, whatever is down here in the south, I'm pretty sure Napoleon should be able to deal with it. Um, hmm. Keep an eye on these guys. Actually. Monsieur, vos ordres? Tenez-vous prêt? Um, you guys are pretty low. And who else is also low? Okay. All right. All right, Napoleon, you're headed to Bayam Oasis. pop you in there. Group these guys up together. Whoa. Oh, I guess he's got to go around. Alright, just hang on. We'll fight that battle in a second. But I just want to see what we can do here with these guys. Shit, I don't think he's got enough movement to get to them. Guess maybe next turn we'll take care of them. We'll replenish up a little bit. It looked like they were withdrawing. But perhaps that is not the case. How about... You three, and you guys stay back and defend that, and then you three should be able to reach these guys. Ooh, shit, I didn't recruit any troops last turn. Emma looks like cavalry. Guess we'll fight it out. Um, the auto resolve wasn't uh, wasn't particularly good there. Um, the one advantage we have over their cavalry is uh, we have guns. They don't have guns, and I don't think um, I don't think you should participate in this. Stay back, back there. Okay. Try and get them into some crossfire. Yeah, it's annoying the AI just has all these little armies all over the place. And I don't know about my double clicking, but. Okay, even if they get us into combat, we should be okay. This is a much better balance of power than the auto resolve indicated. Oops, 
cavalerie attend les ordres, monsieur. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. La cavalerie attend les ordres, monsieur. Guys gotta get in there. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Round of fire wouldn't be bad. Oh, someone shot. There we go, got them. Yeah, cavalry, it just really comes down to numbers, I think. Now you guys shoot. Close victory, I'll take it. These guys, their job is basically defend this front while we while we um, take control of the southern areas with uh, with Bonaparte down here and I might have him march through the desert there that's quite a march maybe take Suez instead maybe have him march over that way and take Suez what can we recruit here Ooh, man, I wouldn't mind getting some of those 8-pound guns. What's the upkeep on them? Upkeep 201. Hmm. Three turns. Oh, wow. The recruitment in this area. Wow. All right, yeah, start with that. Um, these 8-pound guns will be for... Well, we'll probably give them to Napoleon and then switch over, switch them over to uh, to this guy's, this general's army. Benji Briggs says, just stopping by for a minute to uh, leave a hi. Benji, I really appreciate it, man. That's nice of you to stop by. I hope you're not working too hard in Vienna. But uh, definitely good to see you, man. Oh, man, we've got to actually decent sized army here to deal with uh, we're in this army is in good shape we should be able to take them on without too much difficulty I can't imagine there's too much more resistance down this way that was Ooh, where do we want to deploy here like a little bit of high ground here I could put the artillery there I'm kind of thinking to Pull it back a little bit further and get a little bit further uphill. And then just one straight line across. Benji says, well, one month to go. Uh, summer break and four weeks off. Oh, man, four weeks off. That'll be, that'll be pretty sweet. It's nothing like a good... Uh, Old fashioned vacation. Hmm. Where are their guns? It's gonna be tough to get rid of that. I've got guns on each side. Hmm. Not entirely sure. I'm trying to sure I like my deployment. Going apart. Position over here. All right. You guys just move back a little bit. And same thing with you guys. Move back a little bit. Or. Watch out. We got over there, Mamelux. 
And Mem looks over here too. Hmm. It's gonna be difficult for me to get the take out their artillery in the usual way. I'm not sure that I, I would think the dragoons should be able to take on a unit of Mamluks on their own. Seems that they're moving their artillery. They're not defended at, over here on this side at the moment. All right, let's on limber. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to move up a move forward a little bit. Alright, let's deal with this side first. Come on, go, 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 go. Yeah, we'll have the advantage over their their ground troops. Taking out their um, their artillery a long way for the balance of power. I, uh... Should get a quick charge in here before cavalry gets over here. Shit! Don't run into that. Come on, you guys. Might end up losing this cavalry unit here. All right, the artillery is taken care of. Let's see if we can get the cav out of here. Mm. Ah, oh, they're stuck. They're just gonna have to fight it out. Drew me into a trap. What do we got happening on this side? It's okay. The cavalry will be able to replace the cavalry, but... Their purpose, their main job... Get rid of the artillery, and the, that's what he did. Oh, they're not doing too bad against the mammal of cavalry, there. Our men are running for oh, there. <laughs> Just as I say, they're not doing too bad. Line should hold there. Yeah, it's hard to hard to fight battles in this without um, suffering at least some casualties. Stretch out a little bit more. Even in the battles where you have a good advantage. Oh my god. You guys are facing the wrong direction. How the hell did that happen? Alright, good job by the Dragoons. They can maybe clean up some of this in behind here. Oh. Uh, don't fight them in there. Turning them aside. Oh god, I love the animations for the gunpowder that never gets old. Benji says, "I like the dust. I like the dust units leave while wa walking. Missed that in Rapunzel's campaign." 
Yeah, it makes a big difference. Um, it is pretty cool. In Troy, um, they actually, like the chariots and stuff, will actually leave a path in the long grass. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. All right, let's get you guys out of there before you get surrounded. I'd like to hold on to let's let's keep the dragoons in in good shape actually. You guys could take out the general. That would be fantastic. But yeah, it obscures the field as well. Makes it tougher to see what's happening. So much for keeping the Dragoons in good shape. They got caught out here in no man's land. Enemy general is down. Guys move forward a bit. God damn. Most of their units are running. Come on. I think they have to get all in, well maybe not, I was going to say I think they have to get all in formation before they start firing. Like we almost had them there, and still, uh, still a couple of units, a couple of stragglers. What do we do over here? The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Tell you what, this game would be a lot nicer with the um, the new controls, the updated controls. My goodness, would love to see a Napoleon Total War remastered. Let's move forward a bit. I haven't quite broken them completely yet. at least survived. I don't think the other artillery unit survived. He's going to charge into me. Get the bayonets out, boys. I think they lost that. These fucking guys come back. Mm. 
Let's get it there. Chipping away at my Fusiliers of the line. That's the only unit. I think everyone else is broken. It's routing. Music's not half bad either. There we go. We got it. I don't know what the what the requirements are for a heroic victory, but we seem to get a lot of them. Though I guess it's five to one kill count. Peacefully occupy. Repair that. Alright. Guys blocking the blocking the road. So the army is in rough shape. What can we recruit here? The Pusilators in the line here as well. Ah, it's a barracks, that's why. We'll leave the damaged units behind and continue with the army down to here and then down to here. I don't expect there to be too much um, resistance. I feel like we should be able to. We feel like that was probably the most resistance we're going to have. We do have these guys as well. This army could potentially take zigzag, but they can't reach it, so. So there's that. Um, let me see here. Public order. Move you two out is how is the public order? Alright, public order is fine, so let's move a little bit closer to the front. There's a public order here. We'll move you two out. Alright. Um, move you to there. Those guys at least are all in one place. Alright, I think Cairo will be our main recruitment area now. It's kind of centralized. Uh, if we see the British again, then we'll have to um, we'll have to scramble to get some uh, some troops up there. But I don't think we'll see Britain for a while. And Cairo recruiting. All right. Yeah, we get the artillery. That way, we can have three three armies working together. How are we doing for time? It's late December, 1798, and our objective is late December, 1800. So we've got two years, um, and I think it's um, so. Does that mean 24 turns? No, that's 48 turns. So 48 turns, because each late December, it's um, yeah. So. I'd say we're in pretty good shape so far. I don't think there's anything else left for us to do this turn. Crunch another head turn. I don't know what they're doing out in the desert there. Seems a little bizarre. Get an idea what's happening over here by Suez. Nice. 
You know what, that actually could be, um, shit, I should have repaired this last turn. Could be something for this army to do. Pretty decent sized force. We could maybe have him come down and take Suez. Send the artillery over there. Then some. Um... Hmm. Right, we're going to move on to. Ooh, decent sized stack here. Commencez le siège. Gonna fight that in a moment. Um, and the units that are in good shape down to help out. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this guy's army just yet. I might have him come out here and head to head to there, but we've got to build up his forces a little bit. Ooh, we probably could auto resolve this. We've got no cavalry this time. Two artillery pieces. Let's see if we can get a little bit of better deployment, get a little bit better use out of our artillery here this time. Hmm. A lot of sand dunes. Very, uh, God, it's like we're fighting in a in a sandstorm here. You know what? I like this spot right here. All right, some of these guys are in good shape still. Stay together. Hmm. I don't know. That ridge gonna be a problem. Which guys that look so. Right, Bonaparte, you sit up on top of the hill. Guys, yeah, stretch out here. Get that artillery down.
Come on, get moving. Go, go, go. Looks like we're taking some damage there. All right, one artillery piece down. Trying to Come on, quickly, quickly, all right. Get out of there. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. Fuck. Come on. Man, this double click, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm double clicking, but uh, the game does not register it for whatever reason. Let's have you guys um, swing around this way and see if we can get to the other um, the other artillery piece. Are you guys shooting or what? You guys have nobody in your line of sight? Really? Uh, they're not quite in range yet, that's why. Yeah, these six-pound guns don't have very good range. We're looking forward to getting some of the eight-pound guns. That should uh, make a little bit of a difference. There we go. Sand Dune should protect us from their artillery fire, and we can swing around behind them. It says they're moving fast. Yeah, I guess. Ooh. Get close to the Sand Dune. This little ridge here should... Um, should prevent them from being able to target us. Come on, keep moving. God damn, I don't know. Come on, boys. Yeah, I see it's bouncing off the... Uh, I got it that time. They're not making their way to our line just yet. Shit. Shit. The way they're deployed, I didn't think they'd be able to turn on us there. moving, get in behind them. Alright, let's go for the kill. Oh, they're gonna try and escape. <laughs> Good job. I don't think we'll be using you guys again, so just get you out of um, out of harm's way.
Mm, we got a couple of stragglers coming in that way. Got a little bit more. Can hit some of them guys. Some of those guys. Yeah. I. This ridge is a little bit higher than I thought. I thought we'd. Should have deployed a little bit further, further on the hill, to be able to see a little bit better and shoot over the ridge a bit more. I think that's quite all right. I think we should be okay here. Uh, why don't we read a little bit more from uh, the keys of the keys of Egypt? Obsessed and decipher for the Egyptian hieroglyphs by Leslie and Roy Adkins. So last time we left off at chapter one. <laughs> well, we we finished the introduction. It's a little bit misleading, but yeah, we got through the introduction and chapter one, the land of Egypt. So the the expedition had only been at sea for four days when Napoleon decided to take the risk and send for Josephine. After all, the frigate Pomino was dispatched to collect her, but, the time it, but by the time it reached its destination, Josephine was too ill to travel. Having stayed to see Napoleon sail from Toulon, she had made her way to the spa town of Plumberes in Lorraine to take, take the waters, but only 20th of June she suffered a serious accident when a wooden balcony collapsed 15 feet onto the street below. For three months, Josephine endured a long and painful recovery. While the local physician treated her with boiled potatoes, brandy, and camphor applied to compress, along with leeches, hot baths, and frequent enemas. When she was again able to write, she could only lament in letters to her friends that she was unable to sail for Egypt. I have received a charming letter from Bonaparte who tells me that he cannot live without me to come and rejoin him, and to go to Naples to embark. I very much wish that my health might allow me to leave immediately, but I see no end to my cure. I cannot remain standing or sitting for ten minutes without terrible pains in my kidneys and lower back. All I do is cry. That's sad that uh, she wasn't able to get in to join Napoleon. And actually, what happens later on... I'm really getting pressured on this front. Um... What happens later on, later on, Josephine, while Napoleon is in Egypt, um, Josephine ends up cheating on him. Um, and um, when Napoleon learns of that, I think I think uh, it has a really devastating effect on his psyche. God, they're really rushing us here. This flare flank here is in trouble. You guys might be might be needed over here. You guys get over there and help out. Yeah, so much for little resistance down here. This flank is okay. Oh, sort of. Getting some friendly fire in there. Yeah, we get like uh, a little bit of charge in behind. Yeah, I think we just about got it. Just this flank over here that's giving us some trouble. Maybe we should have kept the cavalry a little bit closer. Where are the men running? Uh, it must be, it must be this. Yeah, these guys over here. Yeah, I should have kept the cavalry a little bit closer by, closer at hand. Though they're taking so much damage, I didn't really want to use them here. We can get a crash in behind there. That should wrap that up. Yeah, this side held really well. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do a better job deploying my artillery. We're not getting the maximum out of the artillery. All right, 
ready this back up. Let's stretch out. Alright, yeah, I think we pretty much got him. The accident was a critical moment for Napoleon and Josephine. By the time she was well enough to travel, Napoleon had begun and been given proof of her adultery, no longer wished to see her in Egypt. At one time, bewitched by, his woman, by this woman, six years older than himself, whom he had married two years earlier, his relationship with her was never the same again. And shortly afterwards, Napoleon took the first of a series of mistresses, the newly married wife of an army lieutenant, Pauline Forez, who had accompanied her husband disguised as a soldier and who came to be known among the troops as Cleopatra, the name that, written in both Greek letters and hieroglyphs, would later provide one of the vital keys to the decipherment of the hieroglyphic writing. Napoleon Bonaparte, born in 1769 at Adjico in Corsica of minor nobility, had received a military education in France and entered an artillery regiment of the French army in 1785. The French Revolution, which broke out four years later, would lead to war with many European states fearful of the spread of social reform, and from 1796 Napoleon led the army to stunning victories over the Austrian forces in Italy. For a brief period in France, for a brief period, France was only at war with its implacable enemy, Britain, but Napoleon judged any further attempts to invade that country as too perilous without control of the sea. Instead, he looked to destroy Britain by seizing Egypt. French control would disrupt British trade with its richest possession, India, and provide a base for military expeditions to the subcontinent. Ooh, ooh what do we got here? All right. I think it's just this one, this one unit that we need to get rid of. Oh wait, there's another unit there. These guys to run them down. Another scrappy fight. I, the the fights in this are, or the battles in this can be tend to be very scrappy. Look at the dead here. Goodness gracious. That is target uh, that guy back there. Yeah, we're in okay shape, I think. Got one more city to take down here in the south, aside from the Bedouin. It also suited Napoleon to be far away from politics in Paris at this time. His hope was to return from Egypt in triumph and take control of a coup d'etat that others were already plotting. For their part, the members of the Directory, a committee of five directing holding executive power under the Revolutionary Constitution of 20, 22nd August 1795, were glad to see him go, expecting the expedition to fail and put an end to the ambitious young general's political career. When Napoleon suggested that he should mount the expedition, they rapidly consented. By the time his expedition reached Egypt nearly six weeks after leaving France, the country had been part of, of the empire of the Ottoman Turks for nearly three centuries. The Turks had taken control from the Arabs who had themselves invaded Egypt nearly 900 years earlier. Before Napoleon, only a handful of travelers, invariably men, had ever visit, ventured south of the Nile Delta. A small number of merchants were largely confined to Cairo, Alexandria, Rosetta, and Dematia, and the main center for those from the west was Cairo, where they had their own walled quarter, the entrance to which was guarded by Turkish soldiers. Even in the Nile Delta, it was not safe for Westerners to travel outside these settlements without an armed escort, while travel south of the Delta was not even considered. As a consequence, the 50 to 60 French merchants living in Egypt were unable to provide much information about the country. When Napoleon and his generals arrived, they realized just how little they knew about the land they had come to conquer. Goodness gracious, this guy is still... still coming at us. 
The last man standing. The rest of them are in retreat. Fire locked arm populace. You'd think that an armed populace would be pretty easy to take down. There we go, that should be it. Another heroic victory. I think it's just based on the numbers. Another 5 to 1 kill ratio. But yeah, quality wise, our army is much better quality. Shoot, you know what? How is the uh, public order here? Minus 3. Hmm. We send some more troops down there. What's the? I don't want to leave Cairo undefended. Cairo is not great either. All right, it'll have to. They'll have to go on strike. That'll be fine. Recruitment. Recruit a couple more. A couple more troops there. These guys are all in position. Uh, recruiting. Alright, recruiting some more troops there, so that's good. That's by the Mamluks as well. Mm, well, we're almost... I would say we're just about strong enough. We recruit anything here? Uh, just the militia. I don't want to recruit militia. Stick with the, um, I wonder if we should come down and take Suez? Yeah, I guess we'll take Suez. We're almost strong enough to start pushing in this direction. But we do also want to clean up this because we don't want to end up being attacked randomly. We're starting to get a little bit stretched thin, I would say. We've got three, three main forces. Ah, uh, here we go. Just as I mentioned, if they show up, the Bedouin. And I think the Bedouin have primarily camels. Like I don't, I don't think they're. Um, if I remember correctly, I think they're cavalry, cavalry focused. Workers on strike. Yeah, that was rebellion. Where's the rebellion? All right, we got some we got some decent sized forces out there to uh, to deal with. They're almost to full strength. It's just a small force. Uh, let's recruit some more. Players of the line. Holy camel force. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, man, I really wanted to get down here to uh, take this. But we gotta. We... Hmm. <laughs> Enough movement. Hmm. Let me see here. I think what we'll do. Let's 
These guys are all in good shape. Leave you behind. Leave you behind. Leave you behind. What is with that, uh... That noise, man. Let's see if I can get rid of it by... I don't know what causes that noise. Alright, yeah. Oh, shit. I meant to leave this guy behind, too. Anyway, that's okay. What's, uh... Hmm, they're gonna be on strike. Pop you down there. Can we recruit here? Ah, uh, just militia. And let's have you come over here. Actually, hold up. Move out there. Ah, shit. I want to suffer attrition. I do want to get a little bit closer to this uh, forces that that's uh, threatening us here. God damn, still. Why, uh, why are these guys not suffering attrition? That's shit. Alright, there we go. Alright. Stand there. Um, they do have enough to get to Cairo. But if they if they take Cairo, we'll retake it. If they take Cairo, that'll be annoying because we're recruiting there. Maybe shouldn't have moved this guy out, but I want um I want this force to um head south and take that. Yeah. And then I think Napoleon will send him into the desert to get rid of these guys. They've got enough movement to hit Cairo as well. Hmm, Cairo is under threat here. Anything we should build up? How is our technology coming along, actually? Five more turns. Okay. Hmm, yeah. Spread a little bit thin, but I think it'll be alright. Doesn't look like... Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, they've got... Man, they just keep pumping out the troops. No matter how much te territory we've taken from them. They just keep pumping out the troops. And good that we've got a strong cavalry force here. We'll get rid of their artillery. And then we've got some more infantry to back them up. Also have the artillery pieces that are going to be recruited next turn. Alright. See what happens. Damn it, that's really annoying. It's gonna go around me, eh?
shit. God damn. I think I'm gonna auto resolve it. Napoleon reach Cairo? Osman says, does the perfidious Albion ever show up? Um, I don't know. I don't, I, not that I'm, <laughs> not that I'm aware of. I think this army should be sufficient to take Minya Minya. We've got to come back and retake Cairo with Napoleon. Plus there's that, that force oath here in the desert that we don't know. Yunsagi says, hi Ragnarok, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, Yunsagi, great to see you too. I hope you're well. We're playing an old school Total War game today. Something, God, this game is over 10 years old. I'm not sure how old exactly, but uh, she's an older one. A little bit of Napoleon Total War visiting Egypt. Holy shit, how did they look at the I'm gonna auto resolve this one? Actually turned out better than right, get back in there and see if we can catch up to these guys. Yeah, some minor nuisances here. Alright, we'll fight this one. Well, yeah, Yutsagi, what have you been up to? Oh, it's been also good to see you, man. Get back to some Warhammer sometime soon, I'm sure. Yutsagi says, great, I built a pyramid in Conan yesterday. What? You know, actually, you can build pyramids in that game? That's pretty cool. How, what, how big was the pyramid? Like, uh... Oh man, this uh, this terrain does not bode well for our artillery pieces. Where's their artillery? Got two guns there, and they've got another gun there. Man, I don't know. I don't know where to put the artillery. To be perfectly honest. There's too many. There's too many hills. They're only small hills, but still. Uh, stay in front of the artillery, I guess. All right, um, unlimber those. Two of the cavalry on this side, and two of the cavalry on this side. I don't think our artillery is going to be much good here. To be perfectly honest. Uh, 
right in front of it. Let's go take out those artillery pieces. Oh, there's two artillery pieces on this side too. Keep going. Oh, we got three over here. Once we take out the artillery pieces, I feel like. Damn that double click. Come on, get moving. Hopefully these guys don't turn around. Good. Yunsagi says 13 by 13 foundation blocks. Angar showed me how to build one. Um, slightly different uh, from what I did. Mine is black. I walked around at, at sunrise. The sun was on the top of my pyramid. Perfect alignment. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, what a what a freaking cool game. Conan Exiles. That's one of those games that if I get a little bit of time I should uh, I should check out. We could uh, focus down their general, that would be wonderful. Alright, artillery done. Let's see if we can surround this guy. And how about you shoot at this guy instead? I'm going over here. Shoot him, that would be great. All right, we're looking good. Cavalry advantage is uh, paying off here. Okay, pull back. All right, you guys position over there. Our line should be able to hold against these guys. If we could snipe the general, that would be perfect. Good. Oh. Glorious victory, Guys, sir. back up. Let the uh, let them come into the line infantry. Yeah, the trouble with this game is it's hard to get through the battles without taking, you know, a fairly significant amount of casualties. Which is why we gotta we're, we're gonna have to get up our recruitment a little bit, I think. Why losing Cairo is kind of a pain in the ass. 
that's uh Let's make sure they don't come back. Good, generals down. Get this guy. There we go, that should be just about it. Another heroic victory. Position you here and what do we have for recruitment here? Uh, just militia. Build up that. Hmm. God damn, we never got those. Uh, we didn't end up getting those guns. And I wrote, yeah, public order is bad. Um, hmm, where can we recruit line infantry? Actually, we'll just wait till next turn. Now, when this army is at full strength, should be able to take that on, though. We don't know what's down there. But we do have, we have a big force that, uh, the Bedouin force that was headed this way. That we've got to get rid of as well. This force is not quite big enough. I'm just wondering if maybe these are not... Essential. Five turns. Yeah, we'll build them. Hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty big force there. And we're kind of stuck in the mud a little bit here. Oh. Yunsagi is back. Welcome back, Yunsagi. Thank you for uh, posting the video as well. I will uh, have to take a look after the stream. Um, I'm probably going to use the movement exploit to get rid of them. Oh my god. How much movement do they have? Okay. And then we should be able to get rid of those guys. We didn't replenish a whole lot. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, ah, oh, shit, I screwed up. Okay, 
I used the uh, the movement exploit to didn't work out quickly. God dang it. Oh my goodness. This is just going to take a moment guys, I apologize. They outmaneuvered us here and I want to uh, want to catch them this turn, oops, this turn. And the best way to do that is with the good old fashioned old school little war movement exploit. A little bit tedious, to say the least. But it, oh, it is effective. Almost there. Almost, well, almost halfway there. I was quicker at it. Oh shit. Shit. Wrong unit. Oh shit. He screwed up. Use this guy's movement. What are you doing? God damn it. Almost there. Osmond says in April 1799, Napoleon was sieging Acre. We are ways before we get to Acre, but I don't believe I I don't believe Napoleon conquered all the way all the way down here, and his siege of Acre um, did not go super well. We're taking our time. All right, almost there. Oh. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Our artillery. What the sh... Oh my god. Why is the, uh... Why are the odds so bad here? Osmond says, uh... 28th February 1799, British Royal Navy Frigate Sibley defeats the French Frigate Forte off the mouth of the Hoofley River in the Bay of Bengal, but both captains are killed. Alright, we'll fight it. 
um, unfortunate that we don't have that other, um, that our cavalry unit, but I don't think the cavalry unit actually would have been useful in this fight. Um, where, does it say where our, it doesn't say, there's no way to tell where the reinforcements are coming in from. Should be, I would imagine, right behind us, I'm guessing. But I think the key here is just going into square formation. Can you guys move in square formation? Osmond says just use square formation. Yeah, I, I think that's the um, that's the key. Though I don't know where the rest of my army is coming in from and when they're coming in from. It'd be cool if you could see them marching on this map. I think when you when they when they're near. You can see them marching, but it'd be cool if you could see them way in the distance marching. Where are the reinforcements at? Oh, Napoleon is here. Alright. For some reason, our reinforcements are coming in from behind. Where it would be nice to uh, deploy on this hill, but we're not going to have time for that. It looks like we've got some camels coming over here already. Come on, I need, uh, I need to get some line infantry on here to protect these artillery pieces. God, I can't take control of them yet. Fuck me, this one unit its going to wipe out of my artillery, and I can't control these guys yet. There's nothing I can do about this, unfortunately. What's about to happen here? Formation. Our men are running. Yep. I, mean, I could throw Napoleon in there, but I don't think he's going to last long. God damn. Well, I guess. We can upgrade our cavalry or our artillery. Surprised that the AI did this too. I'm pulling you stay away from them. Yes, I know. All right, let's get lined up up here. How are we doing over here? Not yet attacked. I should have left the... Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I should have left the artillery behind. In the south. What I should have done. Yeah, and just the, the manner that the reinforcements came in, there wasn't much I could do there. I don't know what they're doing. God, they come in so slow. Why can't I stretch you guys out? Wonder how these two boys are gonna hold out.
careful and you stand in behind. Saw Valon says, good morning, everyone. What's up, Saw? How are you, brother? Welcome to Egypt. Fighting against some camel, uh, Bedouin camel riders. Under attack. What? How is that possible? The way the oh the ja okay never mind Gen these guys are the generals. That's yeah the polling is not the general. All right, you move back there like that. Still getting lined up here. line up in front of Napoleon. How are we holding up over here? Zah so says getting ready to leave for work. Ah, uh, Always working hard Saw. So. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright so much for square formation over here. I mean they were pretty well outnumbered. But that does not uh, bode well for this situation over here. Our men are running, sir. Gotta get these guys into square formation too. <laughs> Ian Saki says, you can do it, friend Saw, you are strong. We believe in you, Saw. Not sure if that's the best way to... Yeah, this is not looking good. Not looking terribly good at all. Guess that's all the reinforcements. See what they do here. Would have been nice to take some high ground. Oh man, I can't believe we lost our artillery pieces. Artillery would have been really nice here. They come at us piecemeal like this, I, we've got a chance. position you here just in case they come around this way. Yutsaki says you can handle it and my thoughts will be with you until I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, Saz, so I can handle it. Will square formation hold out? That is the question. There is a lot of them making their way over here. Trouble is square formation, we can't move. Once we put in put them in square formation, that's it. The important thing is to protect Napoleon. 
These guys, unfortunately, the fusiliers, fusiliers of the line, they can't go into square formation. So actually put you... Right in there. Should be safe in there. Let's see what they do. Yeah, it was if they came at us in, in, in parts, we'd have a little bit of a better chance, but this um This doesn't look good. There's just too many of them. Turn around, shoot this way. Soggy says there are a lot of enemies. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> it's not looking super good, but uh, we're, I don't know, we're holding a little bit better than I thought we would, but I don't know. They don't seem to have very good morale. They seem to break fairly easy. We've, a few of them have, um, have gone running. running. And they've still got these guys over here to break too. The balance of power is uh, surprisingly in our favor. Guys in behind are doing a good job. We're definitely taking a lot of casualties though. I think we've got it. Yeah, it seems their morale wasn't super good. That they just, um... Oh, that was a close one. Though, unfortunately, we lost our artillery. And we're going to have to finish them off. No, one of the artillery survived. Position, prêt. Marchez. En position. Oui, monsieur. Prêt. Shit. Just want to get the army into into the settlement here. Saw so says, "Catch you all later, guys." All right, Saw. So have a great day at work. Stay out of trouble and uh, have fun. All right, let's recruit since we're over here. More line infantry. And up here, let's replace those. Uh, no, we won't replace the guns here. We'll get some more line infantry here too. And then when we get those line infantry, then we'll send them down into the desert to get to there. This army, I'd like them to get a little bit better replenished. 
Actually, let's scout what's down here, to be honest. Get an idea what we're up against. Holy shit. Full stack. Ah, uh, this guy's in trouble now. Hmm. Alright, we're going to need a bigger force for that. We'll have to start recruiting in Cairo. Remember, we're making three sixty-seven. God damn. Yeah, our campaign has been a little bit stifled here. Our momentum. Locking down all this territory here. Because, I mean, we've, we've taken out a lot of enemies. Three artillery. And peasant levy. Yinsagi says, have fun, saw, think about good things. Yes, exactly. That's exactly it. I mean, headed to work. Well, a lot of people do enjoy enjoy their jobs. But, at the end of the day, it's still work. Work is work. Oh, man. The, the terrain has been tough. Uh, deployment for artillery. I tell you. Been... One piece there. The other two pieces here. There's in the middle. Cavalry over here. They got that gun. And then the other three cavalry I want on this side to take out those two guns. But there's a cavalry on that side. And where's the general? Have you deployed right here? Probably didn't need to deploy you guys over here. Alright, let's move. I think I put the count the artillery in a bad spot. Can we get these guns shut down? make it tricky is that cavalry unit. I don't know that these three guys are strong enough to take on a cavalry unit as banged up as they are. I don't know if I'm like triple clicking if that's what's happening. Oh, 
balance of power is pretty even. All right, I haven't defended this one. Be able to take that out, no problem. Now let's see if we can get around in behind here. Get the, at least get the high ground. <laughs> Yunsagi says the dust clouds don't help you. No, they don't. The dust clouds and the gunpowder make definitely makes it a little bit harder to see what's happening. Um, but it's definitely um, it makes for a cool atmosphere for the battles. Oh shit! There's a unit of troops up here too. I have to take this this unit out first. Let's bring you over to help out. At least we got the jump on them. Finish him off. All right, I have to go help out that that guy. Our general is under attack. General's under attack. Where's our general? All right, back up a little bit. Don't want the general getting killed by accident. Alright, good, good. We turned away those riders. So let's take out the, uh, these artillery pieces here. Come on, go, 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 go. Seems like we're holding pretty good here. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. We can hit him. Switch to canister shot and see if we can take him out. stuff. Glorious victory. I like the sound of that. Cavalry really took a beating, but they they did their job though.
All right, mopping up the battle. Let's read a little bit more from the Keys of Egypt, the obsession to decipher the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Through sheer good fortune, the ships carrying the expedition reached the coast of Egypt at the end of June 1798, having eluded a powerful British fleet that was combing the Mediterranean to locate and destroy them. The expedition had a military force of some 38,000 troops on board, 400 transports, with 60 field guns and 40 siege guns, but only 1,200 horses for around 3,000 cavalrymen because Napoleon expected to use camels for transport. There was also a party of savants. Despite having been invited on a tropical voyage without knowing the destination, over 150 members of this national institute had been willing to join the expedition. This institute, established in Paris in 1795, included eminent in all branches of science, and Napoleon was very proud that he had been elected to the institute in 1797, a fact which probably helped persuade so many of these savants, officially listed as 167 in number, to take such an extraordinary leap in the dark. If the British had found and destroyed the French fleet, the cream of French... France's intellectual and artistic talent would have been lost. For this reason, the savants traveled on at least 17 ships, with each specialist group split amongst different ships. The specialist groups of savants included astronomers, civil engineers, draftsmen, linguists, orientalists, painters, poets, and, uh, and musicians, with celebrities such as the brilliant mathematician Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier, the scientist and mathematician Gaspard Monge, who had invented descriptive geometry, and the chemist, Claude Louis Berthold. Amongst the other notable scholars were the inventor of the blueness, Nicolas Conte, who is probably best known for inventing the graphite pencil, Diote Grete de Dulemur, the mineralogist, after whom Dolomente Mountains were named, and naturalist jo Geoffrey saint Hilaire. Uh, the artist and engraver Dominique Biantino, the poet Francois Auguste Provence, and the engineer and geographer Edouard Francis Jean Mard. Yeah, so I, I totally butchered all those names there, and I have no idea who most of them were, but those were the guys that Napoleon set sail with from the Institute. There, we should be just about wrapping this battle up. Oh, we've got these guys over here. Let's see if our units broke off. Okay, yeah, that should do it. Ooh, plenty of casualties, but uh, we got the we got the results in the end. All right, let's finish them off. How to resolve this one. All right. Now the question is: Are we strong enough to take Suez, or should we fall back to there? Where could it go this way? Move to here. We are replenishing. I might... Oh, shit. Don't want to take attrition. I wish you could tell where you're taking attrition and where you're not. There, I think. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if we can hit it next turn. It would be nice to get rid of this this little force and then... Hmm. Monsieur, 
Napoleon's army's kind of scattered here. We're getting five new infantry. Hmm. Yeah, we're replenishing so slow, that's the trouble. And it won't be just these five units, there'll be units that pop up that we'll have to deal with as well. This army's not going to be strong enough to take on this. Like, I was not expecting to see this down here. I was not expecting that at all. Hmm. Though, okay. Alright. If Napoleon can get down here and then come, come across here to reinforce, maybe we'll, we'll be able to take it. That's a pretty big force. Though quality-wise, we've got better quality. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. See how things look next turn. Looks like the Bedouin are going to retreat. Oh. No, they're not. They're just going to sacrifice themselves. I don't need to fight this. You guys head this way to join up with this force. Get an idea what's going on out this way. I feel like this is where the attacks are coming from. Oh wait, maybe not. Uh, just one dude. Are we recruiting more troops here? Only in you position yourself there. Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. All right, yeah, and then when uh, these troops are, are ready, we'll use the movement exploit to, um, to come down here. It'll take a while. Um, in the meantime, these guys can just stay put where they are. The big force down there. Maybe we might be able to take it, but I don't know if it's worth the risk. And these guys are healing up anyway. Oh shit. Alright, Cairo. Let's start recruiting these eight pound guns. And get some infantry as well. Oh man, do we want to risk this fight? That is the question. We don't have anything back here. Defend against this. One unit. So it should, there should be garrison unit that pops out. I don't know how to tell. How much garrison we, we get. Alright, let's risk it. 
take the Suez. There's actually, we actually get a bonus if we take it as well. Really tempted to auto resolve it, to be honest. Giving us a pretty good result. But we probably should fight it. I think I'm going to back the artillery up a little bit there. Can't see where they're deployed, unfortunately. Feel like the auto-resolve was the way to go here. <laughs> back you guys up to there. line up and send the cavalry man the cavalry is looking pretty slim pretty pretty slim it was a bit of a gamble this fight should have taken the auto resolve the auto resolve gave us good a good result the army's been through a lot in the last little while yeah the auto resolve was much better. The auto resolve was probably balance of power about there. But if we can take out their artillery, that should even things up a bit. And we'll just kind of corner camp here. Careful and make sure they don't have any uh, any deployables. Can we oh shit! I don't know if we can. Move in. All right. All right. One artillery piece is more or less. Undefended. The other two look pretty easy to get to as well. And cavalry, the cavalry is ways away. Go, 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 go. I don't think these guys will be able to shoot up at us. Artillery is still not in position. Alright, you guys head over here. Let's get away from those... Um, there are units there. Fresh right out. All right. 
right, let's head for the next artillery. Hmm, that unit of Mamluks could be problematic. I don't think we're, I don't think we're strong enough. Basically, we got about forty. Forty unit models. Shit. Well, <laughs> scratch that. Thirty-five. God dang. Our men are running, sir. Yes, they are. God damn, they're protecting their artillery with their um. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's not good. Mm. Alright, back up. Wait for a better opportunity. We're out of range of their artillery, so that is one good thing. Guys, come back up here. Should be safe up here. Our men Is are that? running, sir. Ah, oh, god damn, they got another one. Damn it, we're not going to be able to take out their artillery. Stand right in there. You know, you've moved a little faster. Make this a little easier. Well, at least we got one of their artillery out of the way. Don't know if these guys are moving forward or what. Fuck, what is... God, I guess this unit was still moving, I guess, when I unlimbered them. That's why. I thought he was... I thought they were all in position. Yeah, I don't know. This risky fight, I don't know if it's going to pay off. I... Not liking the looks of things here. Heavily outnumbered. And they've negated our cavalry. Alright. There we go. Should be okay there. I don't know if they're going to move forward or not. Yeah, it seems they're moving forward. Alright, while they move forward, let's read a little bit more from the land of Egypt. Keys of, Keys of Egypt by uh, Leslie and Roy Atkins. Napoleon's true motives in taking a large group of talented civilians on such a perilous military adventure are not known, but their presence allowed him to claim that the expedition was a civilizing mission, not one of imperial conquest. There were even plans to cut a canal through the isthmus to, of Suez to join the Mediterranean to the Red Sea and so provide a new sea route to the east. This aspect appealed to Napoleon, who saw himself as following in the footsteps of Alexander the Great, a Macedonian Greek who took control of Egypt in 331 BC before setting out on his campaign of conquest through the Persian Empire to India and Afghanistan, beyond the Hindu Kush. Having died of poison or fever at Babylon, Alexander was brought back for burial in his newly founded city of Alexandria in Egypt. He had taken a group of scholars and scientists on his per Persian campaign, and for centuries afterwards, all European scientific knowledge of the East 
was based on the information that these men had gathered. Napoleon's group of savants may well have been designed to equal or surpass Alexander's. It is with... It should be, they should be in range now, shouldn't they? Let me see. Let me see here. Oh, they're just out of range. This is going to be interesting. It is with the few savants who became interested in the monuments of ancient Egypt that the story of deciphering the hieroglyphs really begins. The entire group of savants was expected to record every aspect of the country, including geology, hydraulics, fauna and flora, flora religion, agriculture, and manufacturing a task completely superfluous to the stated aims of the military expedition. The recording of ancient monuments was not envisaged as a major concern because the savants were largely unaware of the huge number of ancient monuments that survived. If there was any immediate practical benefit to be gained from the presence of the scientists and engineers, it was to assess and record the country's current wealth strategic value and possibilities for development with a view of make to making Egypt a colony of France, a practical impossibility given the political disruption in France at the time. In reality, the presence of the savants in Egypt was hardly more than a whim on the part of Napoleon who perhaps dreamed of transcending the feats of Alexander, Alexander yet without that whim, Egypt hieroglyphs might still be undeciphered. It was the return to France of those savants who survived their stay in Egypt, along with thousands of drawings of hieroglyphs on the walls of the tombs and temples, that not only sparked renewed interest in deciphering the hieroglyphs, but provided for the first time a mass of material for their study, material that took three perilous and grueling years in Egypt to gather. It was also the start of the French passion for Egypt. All right, got a battle to manage here. So far, so good. We're s sort of. Though they're leaving their cavalry behind. That's that's going to be the tricky part of this fight. How we're going to take out their cavalry. And their artillery. Should have maybe merged a couple of these these units. Freaking, uh, the freaking horses get in the way. Styric Shadow Wolf is here. What's up, Styric? Welcome, uh, a little bit of Napoleon Total War. I'm having trouble with my artillery here at the moment. Line up. I don't know how you get the horses out of the way. On limber. I don't know how you get them to drop their equipment. Alright, there you go. Now this is the real test whether or not we're, our line is going to be able to um, hold them back. They've got, they've definitely got more troops than us. But we've got a little bit better quality. This was a risky battle. I maybe shouldn't have risked it. Starting to regret that now. Should have taken the auto resolve when the auto resolve was giving me the good result. 
Starik says, how are the war going, man? Best way to use artillery is to shoot people with it. <laughs> yeah, they're a little bit clunky. They, I was having trouble getting them in, in the right position there. But you make a sol solid point there. this gonna try and overwhelm us here this is not good oh man oh their general is down I didn't realize their general was oh, okay their general is in the fight but some of them running all right yeah quality quality is holding up here I think but the, the real problem is going to be getting rid of these three units back here. Yunsagi says, I'm good. I built a pyramid yesterday and I am here watching Ragnarok in Egypt, says Yunsagi. Alright, yeah. Good, good, good. So far. This is going to be the first battle that we have to... Go and eliminate the uh, artillery pieces, but we need we need to finish these guys off first. Make sure they don't come back. Stark says they go bang bang, then people go down down. Yes, indeed. These are only only six pound artillery, so they don't have great range, unfortunately. But the question is, how are we going to get over here? to get rid of those um uh, Staric says you built a pyramid to Yinsagi. Yes, she's a pyramid builder. Pretty impressive feat if I don't say so myself. All right, let's start moving forward because we're going to have to I'm going to have to head over there. I guess we could bring the artillery over to try and take out... Ah, that's not a bad idea, but the artillery is going to take forever to move. But I guess... Might as well st start moving it now. If we move it over into this area... That's a 9-pound gun, though. Yeah, we're gonna we gotta make sure these units all break first before we can head over to deal with them. Uh, I'm gonna try and move the artillery into position, but it's a it's a nine pound gun. That's the problem. Is it might um it's gonna have range on us before we get into range. All right, you three, make your way around this way. Yunsagi says the magical thing was the alignment with the sunrise. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's impressive. A pyramid to be proud of for sure. I don't know if they're going to finish them off or not. Yeah, the balance of power is in our favor, but I am a little bit wary of taking out these artillery pieces. Wait, are those guns pointed? They're, the guns are both pointed in that direction, I think. 
these guys over here. How are we doing over here? Oh no, don't. Yeah, they're, they're routing, but they're not completely completely broken. We're looking pretty thin, that is for sure. But a victory here will give us a, a good... Um, We'll all but eliminate these uh, these guys in this area, the uh, the Mamelukes. So they have one more settlement, but it'd be a huge win for us. Yeah, the thing, the the artillery is not the big issue. The big issue is their cavalry, but. Our artillery would be great to get rid of their cavalry if we can get it into range. Hmm. Sneak around in behind and get to this one. I think it's it's pointed in the opposite direction. Move them slow so they don't uh, so they're not exhausted. I get these artillery in. We'll leave the general in behind because there's no no sense risking him. God damn, this unit still hasn't broken completely. Oh shit, they've got this artillery pointed this way. Oh, mercy the mad of viewers just joined. Oh, mercy. Thank you very much for the uh for the host. Um much appreciated. For those of you that don't know, Mercy the Mad is uh another Total War YouTuber. Uh, though, primarily, I, I haven't seen him play any of the older Total Wars. Um, but yeah, an expert, for sure, in Warhammer. I would say he's... Holy shit. Um, I would say there's nobody... He's he's up there with, uh, with Legend as far as um, knowing knowledge of the game. I, I don't know a lot of guys... I, I would say I, I would say Legend... Um, Illich TV, though I haven't seen much of Illich TV lately, and uh, Mercy the Mad always always got cool tips for uh, for people playing. But I appreciate the uh, appreciate the host, much appreciated. All right, Mercy, take care. We're uh, we're playing a, this battle here. It, I risked it was a bit of a risky battle because my army was in pretty bad shape. But I wanted to take the, uh, we're, we're fighting to take the Suez Canal here. And, um, yeah, tell the battles are much slower <laughs> in Napoleon than uh, some of the newer games. You guys into position. Mercy says, uh, thanks for the kind words. I got to go to work. All right. Have a good day at work, Mercy. Uh, much appreciated for, this, for the host. Um, I will uh, be looking out for some, some, of your, uh, some of your tips for Warhammer 3 when, uh, when we get the rest of the game. This 
sneak in behind here and see if we can get to this. I don't know if these guys are in range yet or not. Alright, bring you guys around as well. We are in bad shape. There's only three units left. Two artillery pieces and a cavalry. Our The trouble is their, their artillery has better range than ours. On limber the guns and see if we've got range here. It's, I think it's back. Yeah, the internet might have cut out there for a second. Guess I might have to re refresh. All right, are we in range? Uh, just barely. It should be just right on the edge of our range. Damn, I should have moved forward just a little bit further. Actually, if you could hit the. Uh, Cavalry, that would be great. You guys need to get over here to protect against the cavalry. Guys, hurry up. Get to that artillery piece. SHBLOL says, hey, how are you doing? I came to give you a like. Hope you will have a good stream. All right, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Always good to see you. Oh, shit. I really, really wasn't expecting the AI to be so aggressive here. We switched the canister shot. Alright. There we go, we got them. Alright, good, 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 good. Alright, what's left of my cavalry will send them in to finish off the artillery piece here. Guys. Just a regular round. See if we can hit him. Oh, they're making a run for it. I'll just put you guys into melee mode and take them out. All right, looks like the gamble paid off. That would... I wasn't sure that we were gonna have enough to be able to win this, but. Luckily, our battered forces were able to pull through. Get their artillery pieces, and we're good. We should probably cease fire with you guys. Just unlimber you that all. Alright, that should do it. I think. I think Napoleon Total War has got to be the easiest Total War to get a heroic victory in. Though, I mean, this was the one instance where, okay, I'll take it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We get tons of heroic victories in this game. All right. What can we recruit here? Only militia. Bringing those in Cairo. Alright, yeah, they're replenishing. We want to recruit some more line infantry. Close to the front here to get this army back up to um, a decent fighting force. Um these guys they've only got one turn 
Starwick says, maybe uh, you actually are just heroic. Ever thought of that? <laughs> I guess so. Is this another uh, another one of these gentlemen's? Um, let's send him up to the um, to the college here. We've already got a couple of gentlemen in there. Um, that's not what I wanted to see. Where's the technology? Research and technology. Two more turns, and we'll have unlocked um, logistics. So better replenishment, more campaign movement range. So I mean, the movement exploit is pretty pretty substantial in this, uh, which we will probably be using with Napoleon's army. Napoleon's army is not in great shape, but get Napoleon's army down here next turn. Via the movement though I don't know if we can we cover all that distance with the movement exploit I hit that end turn a little bit prematurely I should have probably taken a bit of a closer look at the map all right yeah let's have these guys join the army oh shit these guys are not You guys can't reach it. Damn it to hell. Well, in that case, we'll send them this way. This looks strong enough as it is. Which were these are the unit these are the units that I just put in. So let's use up all your movement. And gonna be movement exploiting our way across the desert here. Oh wait, maybe not. Oh, I guess I didn't quite use up the movement on the... Uh... Alright, let's start with you. Well, actually, you're one of the... I'm gonna be using you. Start with you. Yeah, I apologize, guys. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit tedious. But it's a necessary evil here. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to get down here. God damn, it's going to take forever anyway. Is there anything else? No, you guys stay put. Get an idea what's over here. All right, man. Look, so. Oh man, see, man, oh man. It doesn't matter how many forces we take out; they still manage to put a decent-sized force. There's a full stack down here waiting for us. Styrix says, never tedious when it's a good movement exploit. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's one of the best ones. <laughs> one of the most significant ones. Um, but yeah. Definitely worth it, but not the most exciting thing for, for viewers. But yeah, for anyone who doesn't know how it works, is any of the older Total Wars, um, if you have one unit in the army that's used up all of its movement, basically um, you use the other units that still have movement, so you highlight all of them, and one of your units, you unhighlight one of your units that um, doesn't have movement, and the whole army kind of jumps forward a, minute, a step. And then your your unit still has movement, so you can move it back into the army. Yunsagi says, I need to go to sleep. My bed is calling and my eyes are closing. Have fun. Steric. All right, Yunsagi, have a great uh, have a great night. Have a great sleep. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. And Steric says, in my view, with exploits, we're uh, meant to be well exploited. That is why they're there. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I've often used that maybe there's a developer at CA that intentionally puts the exploits in there that uh, secretly like he um, 
you know, puts these back doors for uh, for players to, uh, to exploit the game. I know that's not the case, but, <laughs> you know, fun to muse about those things. Alright, let's go with you now. Yeah, I'm so clunky on the keyboard that I wish I wish I was faster with this. Go with you now. I wonder, um, I wonder what kind of force is going to be waiting for us at the other end of this uh, movement. Oh man, I don't even think we're halfway there yet. Steric says that Yoon Soggy, thanks for the refreshments and hope you have a good sleep. And Steric says, uh, picture me doing uh, this with the controller, uh, should make you feel a lot better. Yeah, that dude, that would be wild. I don't know, I, I still don't know how you play Total War with the controller, man. That is, um, that is some next level shit. I don't even know that we're gonna have enough movement on all of our guys to get down there. It's, uh... It's quite the distance. I was gonna actually, I was gonna actually end the stream and uh, and do this in between next stream, but since um, since everybody from Mercy Stream stopped by, I feel bad ending the stream with um, having having being hosted. So, um, but I, I kind of feel bad making you guys watch this. All right, let's start using you. Sterk says it's called dedication, man, or maybe insanity. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's wild that you've been able to able to calibrate your controller and and play Total War with a controller. That's impressive, man. I don't know. I you may be the only one. You may be the lone wolf that uh, that's done that because I don't know of any. I've, I I haven't heard of anyone else who's um, who plays Total War with a controller. Though I guess it's been adapted for, uh, shoot, adapted for um, tablets now. Some of the Total Wars you've got a Rome Total War on tablet, and I think something else. I think one of the other ones too, maybe. How much further? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, we've come a long ways. We're, we're almost halfway, I would say. Sirk says, ha lone wolf, I'll take that. Monsieur, <laughs> Yeah, th this would have taken like three turns to traverse and attrition the entire way. And otherwise it's just constant um, constant attacks from the Bedouin. So it's just better to get rid of them by crossing the shit desert. Like so. Shit. I don't know what it. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I screwed up. Screwed up there. We're gonna end up leaving that one guy, one guy behind.
ici, je ne peux pas garantir que mes hommes resteront à leur poste. En avant Pour la cour Oh man, I'm starting to... Tedium's getting to me, I'm starting to misclick. Journey might be over. L'endroit n'est pas sûr. Oui, monsieur. Running out of movement, though. As well. Yeah, it's a movement exploit that I use on occasion. It's not one that I'm, I would say that I'm a master at using. And I use it for particular situations like this one. To use the cavalry's unit. Or movement. Come on, almost there. Marcus Wolfart says, Hey Ragnarok, haven't seen you stream in a bit. Yeah, I, I took a, a week or two off. I, I had family visiting from Nova Scotia. So, um, had a little bit of family visiting, so spent some time with them uh, for the week, and that's why I didn't want to be distracted with, with streaming while they were visiting. So, um, yeah, I spent a little bit of time with them. It was good. Um, but, yeah, I'm back at it now. Um, hopefully we'll get to a steady schedule for the next little bit. What do we got down here? Oh my gosh, we get down here and there's still, there's a full stack. We just des defeated a full stack of their, well, I mean, it's not quite a full stack, but half stack, I guess we'll say. But yeah, we just defeated a full stack of their, their camels. Problem is, we're not going to have enough movement to attack them. Unless we uh, we attack them with the general's bodyguard. Which is usually a bad idea. That's how we ended up losing our artillery last time. Hmm. Some of the units still have movement, so... Um, Staric says, okay, now that you did all this, make sure you don't get your ass kicked. I know, right? <laughs> um, Alright. Should be able to make the attack with them. Ooh, man, it's pretty close odds, too, but, uh, the camel, they don't seem to have very good, uh, morale, so I think that's one thing we've got. Marcus says, oh, very nice, no big deal, glad you had a good time visiting. Yeah, it was really nice, man, I miss, um, most of my family is in Nova Scotia, and I live in southern Ontario, so, um, yeah, really miss my family, it was, uh, it was really good to see them, and, um, yeah, looking forward to in the next uh, next year or two moving to Nova Scotia. Marcus says, "Is this a mod?" No, uh, this is uh, straight uh, Napoleon Total War. It's um, the Egyptian campaign. It's one of the uh, one of the uh, you've got like um, smaller campaigns in Napoleon, so it's one of the smaller campaigns. Let's uh, position the artillery here and uh, do.
Hmm. I want to put two of them on the opposite side. Alright, you guys get over here. You guys get in behind. Get in behind as well. And you get over here. Shit, I wonder where our reinforcements come on from. Stark says, nah, it's a movement exploit. <laughs> and Marcus says, oh shoot, I didn't know. Thanks for the info. And Stark says, oh, I thought you were talking about the movement. Yeah, yeah. Ah, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, are those the reinforce? Oh, thank God. Thank God the reinforcements are coming in from this side. Hopefully we can get them into position fast enough. You guys, you guys get into square. You guys get your asses over here as quickly as possible. Because if they, if they attack us all at once, they could potentially overwhelm us. Um, yeah, go into square there. Let's go into square there. Pull in, you pull back here. And you get out on the edge there. You just stay in behind here for now. You guys get over here too. Starrick says, actually, this is the one total war I don't have. Oh, really, man? I would, I, I don't know. I enjoy it. I, um, I like the, uh, the switch the canister shot. Come on, shoot. Shoot, damn it. Yeah, see, the, the camels have really bad, um, Really bad morale, it seems. Actually, let's position you in behind, in behind the guns. You guys just stay here. Where are those reinforcements? What the hell? Get over here. And them coming in a sort of piecemeal here doesn't help their situation either. You guys get over here. Quickly, boys. Ah, it's cool. We've got uh, an air balloon. <laughs> Too bad we can't. Uh... Let's move over here. All right. I mean, so far, so good. I think we switch you to canister shot. It's getting kind of. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Quickly, square. Square up, boys. Not ideal. I was hoping to get them up into the line here. Let's line up over here. But yeah, the morale on these units are so shit that it, it I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. These units could be a little bit more troublesome. Uh, let's actually send the cavalry out see if we can catch up to their general. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be on. Yeah, the camels all ran. Marcus says, uh, see, I really, really like when the Empire and Napoleon Total Wars just wish they could either remaster them or make new ones. Gunpowder era is my favorite. Yeah, Styrick and I were talking about that yesterday, how, how good of a job Creative Assembly would be able to do with this era of warfare in a, in a modern game with the, 
with the graphics and um, and the engines that they have now, it would be pretty wild. But I, I'd be totally down for a remastered version of this. I don't think this is really like a general's bodyguard. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Our cavalry unit might not might be a little bit overmatched there, but they seem to be running. Why? Oh, they must be out of ammo. So out of ammo. Yeah, there we go. Looks like we got it. Sloppy, sloppy battle, but we got the result we were looking for. But yeah, if you're into this type of warfare, Styric, I, I would definitely recommend this when uh, when they do one of their sales on Steam. One of their Total War sales. Lesson Jones says, I hope they do a World War One game before another remaster. I think the remaster thing, I like Rome 1 remaster, I don't even think it was Creative Assembly that did it. It was the, um, I don't know what that sound is. Popping up every once in a while. The, um... I'm just going to disband this unit. How do I disband? Actually, I'm not even sure how to disband it. Miss General. Oh, there we go. Disband it. Um, yeah, the Rome 1 Remastered, I think, was done by another company. Other than, like, it wasn't, um... It wasn't Creative Assembly. Oh, shit. That um, that did the remastered. I wanted to put Napoleon into this army so that we wouldn't suffer attrition. And um, my goodness, they've got another army out here. But uh, he's just suffering attrition now too. Oh, now he's. All right, whatever. Um, but World War One. That's the rumor. The like the two, the two. The rumor is we're we're either getting World War One, um, Total War, or we're getting um, Medieval 3, would be my guess. Alright, so Napoleon's army will link up with um, with John Baptiste's army to take uh, Minya, 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 and then we will send one force over here to take that, just to make sure that we don't have um, any problems with them. Holy shit, where the, how the hell did this army slip behind me? God damn. You gotta be shitting me. I thought we had this whole situation under control. Hmm. Can we take that on? With this small force? gonna try I don't know but War World War one would be pretty wild um, you know with flying you know the uh, early early flying machines and trench warfare um, would be would be very interesting oh my god look at the cavalry they've got Yeah, I don't know. This one, ooh, ooh, man. It's, it says it's in our favor, but I don't know. We don't have any artillery here, but I didn't want to lose Cairo. Hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna camp in the corner over here. And then with the cavalry, we'll try and um, 
try and slowly take out their cavalry and take out their guns. I think that's what we'll do. Just swing around in behind here and hopefully we'll be cover get a little bit of cover. But the thing that worries me is uh, their cavalry might outclass ours. This is most mostly light cavalry, but the light cavalry if we if you can get your you can get your shots off, then they can be pretty deadly. But if they don't get their shots off before they get charged. We do have the Dragoons. Be a little bit better in combat. Their infantry I'm not too worried about. Our infantry should outclass their infantry, even though we're outnumbered. But it's this uh, this cavalry battle with the artillery pieces that's going to be tricky. Slowly get into position. Ah, oh, shit, what do we got here? Oh, that's their general. God damn, I got these guys all tied up. Attack the the general. If we take out the general's bodyguard. That'll make things a lot easier. Thought I told you to hit them. All right, general's bodyguard is down. These guys are retreating even though... Alright, let's uh, all attack this guy here. Let's see if we can overwhelm him. Just with our numbers. Yeah, they've all taken a big morale hit from that. A balance of power is actually in their favor. The auto resolve, the auto resolve put it at about 60-40, whereas now it's about 40-60. Which is interesting. Yeah, we take. Oh man, we've taken more damage on the cavalry than I would have liked. All right, let's not worry too much about that artillery piece and see if we can take out the cavalry. We've got one, two units over there and two units over here. Careful with your shooting, because that's how we get friendly fire. Oh, they came back. But they left their equipment behind, so let's not worry about them. Come on, go, go, go. We don't have any artillery, so they're not going to come at us this time. We're going to have to come at them. But let's see if we can pick apart the army a little bit before that. Get in range here. Yeah, once we take out these two, then it's getting behind to get to those artillery pieces. There we go. Let's 
Derek says, that's pretty cool. You could see the horses jumping the fence. Oh, yeah, the, the horses jump the fence. Uh, yeah, it's, um, they do a pretty good job with the animations for sure. It's cool in Troy, I was saying earlier, in Troy, um, like with chariots, um, what will happen is the, um, in, in the long grass, you can actually see the trail behind, behind them. Seem a little bit confused as to what to do. We don't want to get involved with the infantry though. And get rid of the cavalry. You pull around this side. They might come back. Let's actually move up on the hill here. Just to make sure we don't get involved with the infantry just yet. We need the cavalry to take out their artillery. And they're the opposing cavalry. Ah, the unit did come back. Gonna keep them together as well. I was thinking about maybe sending the dragoons on their own, but just in case those two cavalry units come over, oh, pull away from them. Come on, go, go, go. God, I wish there was a way to set the default so that the the default to run, like the newer Total Wars. Yeah, let them go. We're probably going to come back. My guess. I got to really work on my double click. My double click doesn't seem to uh doesn't seem to work out so well. All right, let's get this artillery piece taken out. Doesn't look like we've got uh, we've got a cavalry unit here. Look that time. That artillery piece. Did they go back for the guns? Looks like they went back for the guns. Damn it. Units has used all its ammunition, sir. Shit, they've used all their ammo. Guess maybe I shouldn't have put them on fire at will because this fight with the cavalry over here is going to be tough. Oh, shit. guys came back. Alright, we're just going to have to count on our numbers here to hopefully win this out. Our numbers and our morale being better than theirs. And make sure they don't come back. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Wow, the balance of power shifted quite a bit after taking out that artillery piece. Let's see if we can get this other piece taken out. Come on, go, 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 go. I don't know what they're moving around for. I 
don't want to engage this guy with the uh, with the infantry right there. And we've got another cavalry force coming over this way. And they just don't seem to can't seem to make up what they're doing here. All right, engage these guys. Ooh, man, this is going to be close whether or not we can win out against these three. Staric says, yeah, artillery counted a lot for balance of power. Yeah, it seems so. This is not ideal. Yeah, one out there. I don't know if we can win out. really need to get that artillery piece down. Just counting on the numbers here to hopefully win these cavalry engagement. It's going to be close whether or not we can get enough left. If they charge in behind us here, they could really put, put some pain on us. Fuck. God dang it. guys breaking. The Dragoons are the only thing keeping us in this fight. Let's turn around and fight him. Mm -mm. Come on. Almost got him. Yeah, I, I feel like if we hadn't taken out the General we probably wouldn't have won those engagements. But yeah, that uh, shifted the balance of power back in their in their direction. We've got to take out that artillery piece. Come on, go, go, go. Where these guys get into range here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Mop these guys up and then get away from their troops. Head back over for the other artillery piece and then their job is done. The men of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. Alright. Guys, get out of there. Head that way. And let's start bringing the troops up. I think, um,. I think we've just about got them now. Oh shit, they still still have cavalry. Oh, the cavalry must have come back. Try just try and avoid them. Get get the guns in range of the cavalry. Fatigue, sir. Need to take out that last artillery piece. And then let our infantry mop this up. What, uh, what are you guys shooting at over here? What are you aiming for? Just uh, park the artillery and aim at that hill. You guys gonna shoot the hill? Alright, give the Cav a little bit of a rest. Good job, boys. And our infantry should be much better quality than theirs. The only trouble is that they're they're stretched stretched out quite a bit. But I guess we'll take this flank first. 
Stark says, ha, ah, they don't exactly have their heads in the game there. Yeah, <laughs> leave it to the AI. I mean, goodness gracious, the, uh, the AI has come a long way. Though, my good... I, I gotta say, like, if the AI was better in the battles in this, it would be tough. Like, I, I you know, like, the, the actual, the actual uh, campaign map, like, they, the AI pumps out a lot of troops. And if um, the AI was more capable in these, uh, in these battles, it would make this game a lot more difficult. Oui, monsieur. Yeah, it shouldn't be too... We shouldn't have too much trouble against these guys. It's just a matter of... them breaking and coming back and... all the nonsense with them. Um, the morale, but if we... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units plus the cavalry unit. Stark says they might have still been looking for you. I think that was the last direction they saw you from. Yeah, you might. I think you're right. Sounds about right. Very tired, very tired, very tired. Casualties the same. Concerned, casual, <laughs> concerned. Uh, the units are concerned that they've sustained casualties. Um, the group. Cavalry unit does worry me a little bit because they might be able to take out one of our um. One of our line infantry if they charge into it. There is a lot more of them than there are of us. We might try and sweep up the flank here with the cav. It's almost almost forty almost forty men together combined. They might be able to take out just peasant levy. Oh, well, they're moving forward, you guys. Alright, you guys take them out. Stark says, I'd have your cavalry ready to intercept theirs. Yeah, that's what I should have. Though the cavalry, they're on the opposite side, so I'm just going to use them to try and tidy up this flank. So it didn't go exactly as planned. Our men are running, sir. Oh, one of ours broke. But we did. Yeah, it seems like they withdrew their cavalry there a bit. Alright, pull back. Good charge into this group. They're breaking. Guys. Stay there. Here comes their cav. Go to square. Square it up. Let's move forward a bit. Oh, 
Okay, that was lucky. I thought he was gonna get a charge in behind these guys. All right, good job. The square formation does its work again. Sarek says, I like the formations you can get into, though. Um, yeah, the formations is pretty cool. Oh, are you shitting me? These guys came back. Is that the same unit? Yeah, most of these guys are wavering. It does add a different dimension, right? The, the extra formations and stuff. They added that to... Um, the three kingdoms but I think like in three kingdoms it was almost a little bit over the top with the formations that you could do like there were like with some of the advanced generals there were like tons of formations that you could end up doing damn lots of power still not you know Still, still fairly close. I mean, we've taken out uh, some pretty important pieces from them, but we we did have four full cavalry units, so we've lost some some pretty important pieces as well. All right, hopefully this is where we can break them. But it's definitely a very different feel from um, from your typical Total Wars, the gunpowder era. And we haven't even gotten into the naval battles yet. But I don't think it's unlikely that we'll have any naval battles in this campaign. Though if we can get through, if we can conquer enough territory and get the uh, the objectives, then what I might do is um, I might build a fleet uh, towards the end of the campaign and see if we can take on the British fleet. Which is, um, again, very unlikely. Yeah, see, it's just a matter of breaking them all now. You could send the cavalry to run some of them down, but most of them are broken. Just these three units in behind here. See if we can end this a little bit sooner by t taking them out with the cav. Derek says, is it actual naval battles or like Warhammer 2? No, man, it's actual naval battles. It's um, yeah, prob arguably this, you know, you can make the argument that this Total War has the best naval battles out of all the Total Wars. Um, I mean, I, I would say it's between this. I've never played the naval battles in Empire Total War, but I, they're pretty similar to this. But uh, Shogun 2 has pretty good naval battles as well. For the uh, well, Shogun to the Fall of the Samurai campaign, but it's um, god damn it, they're freaking coming back, or at least uh, they're not coming back. They're not routing, but they're they're running away, which is gonna make this really annoying to finish off. All right, you three. Go run them down. And you three chase them down. But yeah, arguably some of the best naval battles of any Total War in this game. Um, and yeah, in the uh, in this in this particular campaign setting, the British have a huge fleet um, that basically prevents you from from doing anything in the sea. They've got a naval base on Cyprus, I think. 
and uh, we don't start with any naval ships, but we can we can build them. But we've got enough enough problems on the ground without uh, worrying about the uh, navy. What are they doing? Why? I'm, why are they running like this? Where? Goodness gracious! I just keep moving after them. This is going to ruin the rest of my cavalry here. The Dragoons are still in alright shape. Let's send him to... And then hopefully the cav can finish these Glorious guys off. Victory, Glorious victory. Though the only trouble is I don't think we finish them off. Are they? Oh, they're withdrawing. Holy shit. I've never seen the AI withdraw from a battle like this before. I've not seen that. They actually withdrew from this fight. That's very interesting. Well, at least this should save Cairo. And then Napoleon's army should be able to... ...finish off what we're doing in the, in the, in the south. Francis uh, Pasqua says, Very Napoleon-esque to have massive problems to be dealt with, but instead focus on building a navy to spite the British. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> why not, right? I think that'll. Monsieur, écrasez-les complètement. We finish them off. Oh yeah, we can. All right, this one I will auto resolve. Won't. Since we won the initial fight. Lucky that we had enough movement to catch them there, actually. Alright, yeah, Napoleon's army, what we'll, what I'll probably do is... Um, Napoleon's force... Force march across here, though. I don't know, it's a pretty big force that's down there. So I don't know. I don't know, but we've got everything... Yeah, taking this was pretty huge, but the problem may be we may have a lot of problem with public order here. We might have to exempt it from taxation. But I think, yeah, once Napoleon's um, healed up. Uh, Francis, thanks for the subscription, man. I appreciate it. Um, definitely helps out with the algorithm and all the uh, YouTube searches and whatnot. I think this is where I'm going to leave it. We're looking pretty good. Uh, come back to this tomorrow and hopefully we'll finish it off uh, early in the week. I mean, if we take a look at the objectives, the victory conditions, um, we could, if we really wanted to, we could just bulldoze our way there. We've got... Uh, but I, I want to see see what we can do. See if we can take care of... Uh, take control of everything in the south here. And then start moving... Moving this with Bedouin at war. Yeah, these guys are out in the desert. Stark says, Welcome aboard, Francis. And Miss Elwis says, Thank you for the stream. Thank you very much. Let me see if I can figure out, let me see if there's someone else streaming and see if I can figure out how to do a proper host. Um, uh, yeah, so Lemon Pledge is streaming. Uh, Rome Remastered, but a uh, Total War Lord of the Rings mod. So let me uh, let me see if I can participants. I'm not sure how to do it. Well, I'm just gonna put the link. <laughs> I'm gonna put the link in the description. I'll have to figure out. Uh, I'll have to figure out how that works um, next time around. 
But uh, Steric, thank you very much, man. I appreciate the compliment. But yeah, if you guys want to watch, uh, check out Lemon Pledge Total War. The link is there for you. He's playing Rome Remastered, a Lord of the Rings mod. So if you're into into that ch sort of jazz, that's there for you. I want to thank everyone who came over from Mercy Stream. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, it's nice ho hosting you here. And uh, you guys all have a great night. I'll see you guys again soon. I'll be streaming this again tomorrow. So have a great night, guys.